this tutorial I will show how to connect access database or MDB SHDB with system in the same process okay next tutorial is crude operation in access database with C sharp this is the user interface and this is the database my first SSA and table that is the data If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start all program. You click on all programs and uh, click on Microsoft Office. Just uh, click uh, open the Microsoft Office Access. I'm just showing in uh, 2007. You can use it in 2013 to 16 or 10. Okay. Now I'm just uh, selecting a location. Where I uh, I am just creating a folder where I will store the access database and other application um, in this tutorial. Okay, the folder name is Access with C# -Sharp tutorial. Uh, in the DJ, I will store the access database and uh, Visual Studio application in this folder. Okay, the default location is C user process video and documents folder. Okay, now I am just browsing the location and select the location DJ Access with C# -Sharp tutorial. Uh, double click and open uh, the database name put a database name uh, my database name is uh, my past assassin you can use your database name uh, okay now just click on ok yes the now just click on create the database is created this is the default folder and uh, default field ID uh, right click on the table default table uh, design view food edit table name my table name is user tape and field name is ID you can manipulate the ID field name name is the reverse word you can keep to the name uh, name word or uh, if you keep the name you can face error uh, or you can change the name also I'm just uh, kept it uh, as same the name okay ID name now uh, is name is text id is auto number and age is age is also text uh, sorry age is number because age is always uh, one to uh, one to have whatever okay now address is text religion religion is uh, text it's also text okay now default text is 255 character you can uh, you can fix the size 100 character 10 character whatever you requirement the contact contact is also uh, field size is 25 uh, 255 character i am just fix it with 100 character and input mask foot hash to make text formatted what you what number you insert in the table it will be formatted with the hash sign s s per hash sign okay now uh, it's done my table is created click on uh, uh, I'm save, save this table and uh, click on open right click and open I'm just uh, inserting a record the uh, record is named Swift is 29 and address address is uh, USA and religion is Islam okay now contact yes this is I have in I have uh, formatted with hash in input mask that's why uh, it's formatted uh, 0 1 whatever you entered it will be formatted okay uh, yes it's done now uh, my record is uh, I have uh, entered one record uh, and I will display the record in Visual Studio C sharp uh, application in that case I start Visual Studio and I'm gonna create a application Visual Studio uh, new project Yes, I'm gonna create a new project. My project is Windows Form application, and uh, name of this uh, application. First of all, I'm just uh, store. I'm just uh, store this uh, application in D D Drive Access with C Sharp tutorial, and uh, the name of this application is Connect SSDB with C Sharp. Click on OK. Oh, the hash uh, sign is not allowed in this uh, in the Visual Studio name type that's why I just click on ok yes now my project application and the default form is created this is the uh, default form form 1 
I am just designing this form with one button control, one direct view control, and a label control. To uh, label control is for title. In that case, uh, uh, you can just uh, add this control by drag and drop from the toolbox. Okay. Uh, these are uh, this is the data grid view what I added from the toolbox and this is the button control and the label control it's uh, looking very smaller so this uh, I'll use this label control as title so I have to design this uh, label control uh, uh, to with uh, making the font sizes bigger and for color uh, uh, also okay now the label is looking like title load data from access with C sharp and I'm just changing the background color of this form is aqua cane uh, and um, button control for color also can and the uh, back color is light blue okay now uh, is 12 change the text of this button the text of the button is your load okay now just double click on the button yes this is the click event here I will add okay now now right click on the uh, data connection in the server explorer and change uh, click on change uh, from microsoft sql server to microsoft access database uh, database file data provider is okay now use uh, this connection uh, selection to connect to microsoft access database file though the dotnet framework data provider for all the db okay now just click on browse and select the d drive access uh, with c sharp tutorial folder the uh, database select the database my first sec and click on open Oh, it's used by another program. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the access database is for opened in the access uh, after access software. So now close and uh, click on open. Yes, you can put the password using password in access to be available at the end of this tutorial. How to use password? Uh, you can see it's in the end of this tutorial. Click on OK. I didn't use password. If you have password you can put password okay now read type data no, right click on read type data these are this is the record uh, what I have added in the access software now I will read the record uh, in in the Windows form applications form in data grid view in that case first of all in the bottom click 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 event write OLEDB connection uh, add so you should add namespace using system.data.oledb okay OLEDB connection con equal to new OLEDB connection to get the connection string uh, go to the server so here I will put the connection string to get the connection string go to the server explorer click on the database my first SEC and go to the properties just uh, copy the connection string and paste in the double quotation yes connection uh, yes the Oh, uh, this is the error of single backslash to uh, erase this error just uh, put at the rate at the beginning of this connection uh, before double quotation okay now error is solved uh, now just to write command OLDB command CMD equal to new OLDB command now just to write command uh, it's noted that the command is as like as uh, SQL server command there is no more difference with SQL Server. Command is select ID, name, age, ID. ID is from uh, column, ID column uh, from user tape, what I have uh, created. You can see it, uh, this in the Server Explorer. ID, name, age, and address, region, contact. It's from a uh, user tape. Okay, from user tape, user tape is table name. Call the connection, con, yes. Now, it's done what I want to show you how to connect access database with a visual studio this is the uh, this is the main concept of this the main focus of this tutorial now OLEDB data reader I'm just using the OLEDB data reader to display the to read the data and uh, for displaying the data in data grid view in Windows form okay CMD dot execute reader now at a data table data table DT equal to new data table now dt dot load rd rd is data reader finally uh, load the data table in the data grid view data grid view under data source equal to dt okay now click on load 
oh yes it's uh, displaying an error activity that requires to open the available connection this connection the current state is closed oh sorry i for wrongly uh, forget to open the connection first of all you should open the connection uh, to open the connection just uh, write the code con dot open and after completing the operation uh, just close the connection uh, to close the connection just write con dot close yes now click on debug yes now just click on load yes the record is displaying in the data grid view uh, from the access database uh, yeah, table user table now i am going to create another record uh, the, uh, another record is uh, john name john as 52 address us region nil and contact i am just putting the contact uh, yes execute yes the second record is added now debug again yes just click on load yes the both record is displaying in that data grid view start my all program microsoft office open the microsoft office this is the d my first sctv this is my database click on open yes the database in uh, d drive access with c -sharp tutorial my first sctv click on the you know open exclusive yes because it's uh, another you use that uh, has database open or because you don't have permission oh yes it's opened in another process uh, first of all you should close uh, yes it's uh, uh, open in the visual studio i am just uh, remove it uh, to close okay now again start all program microsoft office yes click open uh, go to the dj access with c tutorial folder open the access with c tutorial folder and my past ssc open exclusive yes now it's opened now go to the database tools encrypt with password okay now you just put your password and verify verify means you just put same password what you put in the uh, above text box okay now it's uh, created with password now uh, see that debug load now it's not this link it's not uh, not a valid password you should use password uh, and the before connection listing is not working now add connection change microsoft access database file okay now browse the database my past sscdb open yes you should use password username admin and password is what put the password uh, what you added okay save my password test connection yes connection is succeeded click on okay yes now change the connection uh, yes here you should change the connection name uh, sctb to set the password write jet oledb colon database password database space password equal to your password my password is swift one two three now debug again load yes now it's working okay next, next i will show how to create complete crude operation in access database with c sharp